Hey guys, um, I was asked if I could, uh, do a video on how to, do, uh, stop motions. And, um, I'm gonna show you how to do stop motion, which most of you already do, but for the few of you that don't, um, this would be sort of how you do one. And also, if you're not, if you're just stumbling on this video, and, uh, if you're just watching it for the how to make a stop motion part, uh, that's fine too, but, uh, anyways. To get started, what I suggest doing, I'm just going to use my Oshkosh dump truck here. And sorry for the mess, I've been working on some stuff. But, uh, what you want to do is just move it about something like that. Then just take a picture like that. Take a picture. That. Take a picture. That. Take a picture. And just keep on doing that. Um, what I suggest doing is one to two centimeters per like how how you move it or how far you move it each time. Um and some of my other stop motions they weren't as good. Like some of the my early stop motions, but I'm starting to get better at them if you like look at the mini one that I just made. But um and then what you want to do, you want to upload it to your computer. And once you get to that, um uh, you're gonna wanna go to tools. Then you're going to want to go to Options. I have mine set on 2.5 seconds on picture duration. And I'll do that one last time for any of you guys that missed that. What you want to go and do is go to Tools. Get on to Options and set it for 2.5 seconds. Um, you can also add titles if you go to titles and credits. Right there. And you can just add that. But, um, there's a way to do it if you just drag one picture down at a time, like, click and drag. You can do that. Or, I just found a new way. What you want to want to do is just go down and highlight everything of your stop motion. Every single picture possible. such as this and this is on Windows Movie Maker for any of you guys that have this. this is the older version they got the newer version out now which I'll probably be getting so uh, what you want to do is hit uh, and once you selected all that see how they're all blue sorta then what you want to want to do is hit add the timeline this will add all of them to the timeline. It, it just takes a few seconds for it to... Oops, sorry. It just takes a few minutes or a few seconds for it to load all them into the timeline. But uh, once... Th this is ma makes it go by a lot faster. It used to take me like an hour to put all my stop motion, or the stop motion together. But uh, now it only takes me like 30-40 seconds. See? You got... Each one of the little like black things are pic are a picture, and then once you do that, you go just to see if you like it. You hit play right there. But my stupid computer, it's either my stupid computer or Windows Movie Maker. I gotta drag it just a little bit to get it to go. Which it does look stoppy. It looks like stupid. If you notice, it looks stupid. But once you upload it to YouTube, it looks. If you upload it to YouTube. It looks a lot better than it actually is. But, uh, see how it sort of looks? It'll stop it like. But, uh, it, it actually looks like one smooth motion if you do upload it uh, on YouTube. Like that. But, um. And then what you're gonna wanna do is get a published movie. I'm not actually gonna publish it because I've already published one. And then you go to this computer. The should be the first choice. It should already be highlighted. You hit next, and then you just name whatever you want it as, and then you hit publish, which I'm not going to publish it since I've already made that. But um, if you want to add music, you hit audio and music, and then you go to whatever thing you got. Like I only got them two things, but I'm, as I said, my computer crashed and I lost all my music, so I got to put all my music back on it. But, um, 
you just click that and it'll it most for, most of the time for me it goes right up here so if you can't find it it'll be right up here and you just drag it down and it'll be way out here like it'll go way past your thing it'll be like way out here way out here about another it'll go to however long the song is but you just drag the little arrow you just sort of get it and drag it to right there and uh that that's how you put the um music in but uh there's a how, how to do stop motion guys uh, i guess i'll see you later